Hello, it's a little bit later than usual, but I'm making this impromptu video uh, just to share something with you, and I suppose actually to ask you a question. Um, I was driving along on my way to pick up Mrs. Soup earlier uh, this evening when I saw something in Oosburn Valley. Now, Oosburn Valley, for those of you who don't know, is somewhere between Newcastle and Biker. And for those of you who don't know, yes, Biker is a real place. Some people doubt that, but it is a real place. Um, and uh, I was driving along and I just saw this thing on a wall and it reminded me of, well, something in particular and that is Paleolithic cave art. Now, um, let's just have a look at what I saw as I was driving along. Okay, so why does that remind me of Paleolithic cave art or parietal art? Uh, why? Hmm. Hmm. Let's have another look. Now, some people um, might suggest that it's the similarity is simply that it's painted on the wall. That's what cave art is, wall painting. But that's not what it is. Um, some people might suggest that actually that it's, it's, it's the subject matter, it's a painting of an animal on a wall. That might be what it is. But again, that's not what it is in this instance. The reason why this reminded me of Paleolithic cave art is the use of the contours of the wall itself. Um, let's have another look. Can you see, as the camera moves along, the way that the image is using the shapes of the building to, I suppose, uh, exaggerate and reinforce, to highlight the shape of that sheep head? Um, essentially, the, the, the sheep's face looks as though it's three-dimensional because it's been put onto the right on the edge of that vertical upright in the wall. And this is something actually that, that Paleolithic cave art artists and art uh, makers used to great effect in caves like Lascaux. They would use the undulations and the contours of the rock to make animals look more lifelike. And as you walked along through the caves, maybe with a, a flame torch, the flickering light and the, the, the shape of the stone itself would actually make these animals seem to be alive. They would almost move. You know, almost be animated actually, certainly look as though they're coming off the stone because the stone itself is in some places actually kind of animal shaped. And that's what made me think of Paleolithic cave art. It's the use of the contours of the canvas as it were, of the, 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 the thing that you're painting on to add to the effect of the painting. And uh, I just thought it was a nice little thing to, 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 to share with you guys. Um, it certainly brought a smile to my face on the way well, on the way through a rather dreary rush hour drive, I have to say. Anyway, um, hopefully you've enjoyed this little video, and until next time, as ever, do take care. Bye-bye.